Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. Well, everybody, you know, um, I was gonna, I was gonna keep it short tonight, which I probably will. I don't know if we'll run the whole hour, but I've got a couple of uh, pretty cool guests on. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna have William Bailey on. He is on every week with me, uh, my little buddy. But then I'm gonna have uh, Mr. Steve McGuire from Canada, the Unknown PayPal Podcast. Everybody knows the hand, and I'm from way down under. In Australia, we're going to have Mr. Connor Bryant on tonight, too. So, but first of all, yeah, I mean, I've had so many things happen today. I don't even know where to begin. All right. I mean, so I'm going to start right here. When I got started in paintball, I had a, a, a friend that I was in a construction company with named Rick Williams. Anyhow, you know, Ricky and I, we were together. We had, uh, you know, a construction company for probably 12, 15 years together just an absolutely great person. And he is the reason I actually got into paintball back in the day because we didn't know where to get him for his birthday. So we all went out and got him a Splatmaster. Well, then obviously, you know, we watched him playing around with it. So I had to get one and we had like 40 some guys working for us. So next thing I know, we had our own big game. Uh, but anyhow, today I go down and I haven't seen his sister Monica in forever. And who do I bump into today? but Monica Williams. And it was so cool to see her. And, and we started talking about, about Ricky. Ricky's back in Georgia right now. Um, and I just can't even begin to tell you how cool it was. Uh, you know, I'm getting ready uh, to go to Woods Ball. Actually, I, I leave late tonight. Um, and I haven't done that. I haven't been back there now in 30 years. So I'm excited as hell to go do that. So I just had to give a shout out to Monica. Um, Monica, when I seen you and and found out that my little buddy uh, is still up and kicking, I absolutely loved it. And uh, I thank you so much and definitely looking forward. I, I got her on Facebook now, so we're going to stay in touch. Cool as hell. Thanks again, sweetheart. Now, real quick, uh, Woods Ball, Woods Ball, Woods Ball, Woods Ball. Um, the two guys I got on tonight, two out of three guys I got on tonight aren't going to be able to go. And that's a shame. You know, um, Steve's up in Canada and, you know, they've been on lockdown now for, I guess, ever. And, uh, you know, and then Connor, he's over in Australia. So that would take him a couple of days to fly this way. So, but we're hoping that in the next event, uh, we're going to get these guys down there because, uh, we have a, a team called a band, and what we're going to do with the band is we're going to take it to different events, and it's going to be by invite only. Not anybody can just join this thing. So, um, you know, the, we have the the people in charge of this are, are Bill Bailey, Dan Kobe, Tim Schloss, and myself. So we will decide who gets in the band, and it's going to be anybody that's really good for PayPal, anybody that pushes the sport really good will be able to join in the band at an event. And, you know, uh, Stephen Connor. They will definitely be in it. Uh, all we have to do is get them there. That seems to be the ticket right now is getting them there. Damn. And, and I definitely want to do that. I got to get up and put my comments here real quick. Thomas Gee is watching. Thomas, I cannot wait to see you. Um, I haven't seen Thomas in uh, 100 years. And uh, he is going to be there. Uh, Thomas plays on the band. And uh, Dan Kobe is watching. Dan plays on the band. I love I mean, the people on this team are just incredible. So many Hall of Famers. It's not even funny. And, uh, hey, all Booney boys in the house. 
Everybody knows I love the Booney Boys from up in Canada. And Steve is actually um, one of the Booney Boys. Um, and, uh, you know, these guys are, are just some of the coolest guys. I've had them on my show a couple times. Very entertaining. The, the people love them. Every time I have them on, they're like, hey, bring the Booney Boys back. Bring them back, you know. E even Danny, you know, Danny, Dan Kobe from E Immortal Air. You know, he just, uh, he loves the hell out of them guys. And Mrs. Tracy Perez is watching us tonight. Um, Tracy, everybody knows who Tracy is. Um, she's just a doll. And I'm going to have Tracy on here when I get back to New York. I'm going to have her back on. But, you know, we're trying to figure out something that, that we can do for paintball. It's going to be pretty damn cool. And I'm going to drag Tracy in on it. And we're going to figure something pretty hot out. And we're going to make it happen. So I'm looking forward to that. And I got to say hi real quick to Mr. Robert Hansen, who watches every week. Him and Kenny Stewart. Um, I got to tell you, these guys... Every week, I, I can't even, I all of you guys, you guys are just absolutely incredible. Um, I just love it. Uh, real quick now, I'm going to give my shout outs, and then I'm going to bring my buddies out here. Um, actually, I'm going to bring Bill out real quick right now. Everybody, Mr. Will Yum Bailey. Hello, How you hello. doing, Bill? Doing good. Can't wait. Yeah, Excited. Yeah, do yeah, Bill's getting ready to take off to drive. He's going to actually go pick Dan Kobe up, and they're going to be driving together. God, I wish I could be in that truck. That's going to be so <laughs> – oh, man, I I'm dreaming about that. That would be cool as heck. That's all I can say. You know, poor Bill hasn't slept in like three days. You know, me neither. I'm just so uh, – I feel like I've drank a drum of Mountain Dew. I'm just all jacked up and ready to go. It's been Period. Mountain Dew. Coke for me. I, I haven't had any Dr. Pepper lately, so I've got <laughs> I've got a case of it, but I'm not going to break it out till we hit the road. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. So anyhow, um, I can give my shout outs real quick. One of the members of the band, Mr. Tim Schloss, is going to be there also. I haven't seen Tim in 20 years. Him and Dan either. 20 years I haven't. I mean, I talked to him, but have not been there to give him a hug and just uh Tell these guys just how much I really love them and, and really miss these guys. They are, they've they been my sponsors back in the day, and they've been friends of mine forever. And just some of the best friends you'd ever, ever want. So Tim Schloss is going to be there. He uh, used to have Tiger Stripe camouflage. Now he has Gateway Paintball, 10 minutes from the airport in St. Louis. So if you guys are out there, you want to go check that out. Uh, Bill and... Uh, but or went and they checked it out and had nothing but great, great things to, to say about it. Um, everybody, I get all these Facebook users, but, you know, I, I can't see who they are. Steve Steve probably knows because, you know, Steve's up on that stuff. Uh, there's Dave Wright. Thank God Dave's got his name on. Now, Dave is on a mission from God. That's what his wife said yesterday. Um, he's, he's, driving, he's driving to New York right now. So he's on a mission from God. And Dave, we just want you to be safe. We want you to get there. And I am so, so looking forward to seeing you. Um, Dave's one of them guys like Schloss and, and Bailey. You know, they're a kick in the pants. Boy, I got to tell you, you just, uh, all you got to do is wind them up and kick back. They'll make you laugh all damn night, period. Funny as hell. Yep. Yeah. You see, I waited till you took a drink to say that too. Yep. <laughs> and then I got to say hi to, to Dan and John Colby. Dan's going to uh, be traveling with Bill to New York. Dan owns, uh, back in the day, it was Air America. Now it's Immortal Air. Him and his son, John, uh, they, they just put out the best product, reg product out there. Period. I know there's other ones and, and they're all good. But I got to tell you, this guy here is the Cadillac. I mean, Dan just, uh, he works overtime making sure that these things are absolutely perfect. And customer service outstanding. Am I right, Billy? Yes, it is. Very absolutely. And I got to say hi to Mr. Bud Orr. Bud's another one of the guys that are going to be playing in the band. Uh, Bud's flying in, I believe, <laughs> Thursday night. So I am absolutely looking forward. I got to see Bud a uh, uh, couple of months ago uh, down at his house down in L.A., <laughs> So I'm looking forward to seeing him and his wife, Kathy, again. That's going to be so cool. And Mr. Tom K. Tom K. Air Gun Designs. I got my automatic sitting right over here. Um, Tom is not going to play with the band, but Tom is going to come out and hang out with us. So, you know, this, um, this event, you know, Bill, I got to tell you, this is like history in the making right here, having all of these special people that worked so hard back in the day to make people what it is today, all be in the same place at one time. Yep, no doubt. Well, we are. Hal's bringing his 
auto mag that he won in that benefit. He is bringing it just in case Tom wants to play. <laughs> yeah, well, you never know. We might shoot that old boy up. You yeah. know, I, I sure like to get him out there and do it. Yep. And and then I'm going to say hi to, I'm going to say both to both of them, Rainey and Juvie Boucher. But Rainey is going to be there. Rainey is another Hall of Famer. And he is also on the band. Uh, Rainey had paintball news back in the day. And he is going to be there to uh, uh, play paintball with us. And I haven't seen Rainey in a long, long time. I was West Coast editor for years with Paintball News. And so much respect for him. I can't even begin to say. I, I just uh, I cannot wait to see him. And then I always say hi to Mr. Randy Camilla. Now, Randy's not going to be there, but Randy is used to be the editor for APG, gave me my first cover shot and really uh, sent me on my way. He, he really did. And then Tim Schloss and Dan Kobe and Tom Kay and all these other guys took over. But uh, he really gave me the, the boost. He got me off the, the starting pad, I'll say. And then Jerry Braun. Now, this is Jerry Braun's field we're going to. Um, Jerry owns the field and has uh, one of the oldest field, if not the oldest field in the United States. And it's managed by Kevin Donaldson. Um, Kevin's uh, one of the master blasters. And that's who's doing the roughing this weekend. And, you know, you cannot, you cannot find a better set of refs than the master blasters. These guys are the best of the best. And, you know, and Kevin, I can't wait to see you. I haven't seen Kevin in a long time. We've had uh, Kevin and his pet bear on a few times. <laughs> that that's a private joke for for Steve McGuire and and Bill Bailey, uh, <laughs> which I will explain later when I bring them on. And then I'm going to say hi to Mr. Ross Alexander. Uh, he had line SI, had the Bushmaster. Now Ross was going to be there this weekend, but his business is opening back up again. He has a shuttle business, and it's starting up again, so uh, he's not going to be able to make it. But we're going to be thinking of you. And then Gino. Gino from Belkin. I mentioned Gino all the time because Gino, uh, you know, obviously he's a big store owner. Everybody knows that. But he does a lot of stuff for paintball behind the scenes that that the regular paintball players don't really get to see. And uh, I get to see a lot of it. And and Gino's actually going to be there filling pods for us, too. That's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Boy, you don't think he can do it, huh? <laughs> uh, I, I know he can. He's, he's probably got some kind of auto loader that he's bringing or something. Oh, I'm sure. You know, Gino, yeah, it fits <laughs> something new or inventive. The guy's got his hands on it. So, and then I got to say hi real quick to Jim Lively. Um, Lively Productions, you know, he had the Masters back in the day. Jim's not going to be there, and that's a shame because we would absolutely love to see you there, Jim. Uh, you're you're definitely in our hearts, so you are, you are definitely... As far, far as I'm concerned, you are one of the band, period. Um, you are just an absolutely great person. And then I say every week to Mr. Mark Gong Jr., um, the Ironmen have got a, a young kids team together called the Hermans, and I'm an honorary member. I, I have their jersey hanging up there, and I wear it with pride. I absolutely um, love being part of that, as does Jennifer Montressor. Jennifer also has a young guns team, and July 30th, uh, she's going to be at the Iron City Cat Classic. So we're hoping that you guys get out there and uh, kind of say hi to her and support her team. So um, Kenny Stewart, Tracy, she says she wished she was going to be there. Man, I wish you were going to be there too. But we're going to link up. We're going to do something cool. And I, I, I understand Thomas bought a 1,000 pounds of steaks to, to go make steaks or something like that. Or did I read that wrong? Was it 20,000 pounds? That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I I think it was because he said you eat a lot. I, I'm not sure what it was. But. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I go by the pound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what do you say, Bill? What do you say we bring our, our guests on here tonight? I'm going to start with <laughs> Mr. Steve McGuire from the Unknown Paintball Podcast up in Canada. How are you doing this evening, buddy? I am good. And for the record, I've been listening Jerry Bronze Field is the oldest, hands down. Yeah, I, there are I a couple fields that have claimed that claim that, but Jerry Fields is one hundred percent the oldest field in the world, and I right think on. he was the second or third field ever. But he is the oldest. Period. Yeah, very cool. Right on. I, I knew, I knew it was close. So, um, and Robert, as soon as you came on, Robert Hansen said moose. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're really trying to make that stick. I gotta or be honest. It, it seems to be working. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. 
I mean, I've been a lot of times I wish I'd have been called Moose instead of what I was called. But anyhow, we won't get into that's a whole nother show, you know. Uh, it's a heck with that. And then Jeff Thompson says Moose too, and, you, and we all know who Jeff is. <laughs> Jeff's one of the Booney Boys. We've had Jeff on a few times, and, and we'll have him on again, uh, as we will have Kenny Stewart on again and Tracy Press and all of these guys. But what do you say we bring up our our last guest tonight? This guy's coming all the way to us from. The Australia. future. Australia. The future. Yeah. 16, like year, 16 hours in the future. He's coming to us from the future. The, he is. Boy, Lots I got to tell you, you know, yeah, you just paid for yourself being on tonight, Steve. I like that. Right on. See? And you said he wasn't going to pay for himself, Bill. You bite your tongue. All right. Everybody, <laughs> Mr. Connor Kangaroo Bryant. So we got a kangaroo and a moose on tonight. Oh, yeah. Cool I was just that. about to say. Yeah. The moose yep. is in the house, and his little stepbrother, uh, the kangaroo, is in. Uh, <laughs> so, oh. so, so then that makes me the shark. What does that make Bill, or should I ask? Oh, He's, boy, um, I see wheels turning now. <laughs> Remember, this was is a family show. Rocky and Bullwinkle, you know? It's like he can be our Rocky, you know? <laughs> you die even to evil of Cheerios. In the country, you die. <laughs> I drank 15 Dr. Peppers. <laughs> I got to pay. Yeah. Yeah. Thomas, Gee said Jerry, Thomas Gee said Jerry's field is the oldest continuous operating field. However, yes. he might not be the oldest field in one location. He used to be in Brewster when he started. So, And some Facebook user said, Connor will make you laugh. That would yeah, be that Chica was Chica. Estrada. Yeah. Oh, was it Chica? You know, Chica hey, Chica. Estrada. Yeah, oh, what a you know, Chica's his dog's name, so I call him Mr. Estrada, but I love Chica too, you know. I mean, but the guy watches every week, he is um, one of the best paintball supporters out there, you know. And like I say, you know, when they sit and they watch us, guys, that's actually supporting paintball, you know, it, yep. it is. And and it's you know, Mickey and share and share, yeah, you, you know, get like 130 shares, 141 like, last week, I and I get that. like. 15. Well, yeah, yeah, so, but you know, see, I got my mom doing it. I so, know. You know I, I told her, I said, Mom, I oh. said, get me up, get me over 100. She goes, Okay, son, I'm on it. So, <laughs> you know, that's all I know. By the um, way, we've got Dan Colby in the house. We got Kevin Hefferly in the house. We've got, um, oh, Kevin's in there, right on. Yeah, Dan Colby's yeah. in there. We got Larry Taylor's in the house. We've got, uh, oh, let's, so, um, right yeah, on, there's a Steve. bunch of names I was trying to catch. <laughs> oh, Richard Wilcox is in the house. Bobby's in. Rick yeah. Rick's in. Yeah. Hey, Ricky, what's going on, buddy? Rick Wilcox put some some uh, pictures of his dog out there, and his dog was all kicked back the other day. And he goes, "Yeah, it's seven months old," and yada yada yada. And I told him, I says, "Yeah, I says be another five months, and they'll have you fully trained to yeah. do whatever that dog wants you to do, Rick." Yeah. So beautiful dog, dog. Beautiful dog. So. I, Very I put cool. The dog in the kennel today, and he wasn't very happy. <laughs> like, no, you know, every time my wife does that to me, it kind of makes me mad myself. But you know, I, don't know. <laughs> I just want a bigger kennel. Damn, you know. Well, I'm glad that hey. I'm glad that Ken's in there. I wish I was going with you guys to New York because I would really like to shake his hand. I think he's going to be there. I don't know for sure, but he makes those Zodiac packs, which are just oh, yeah. wicked. Mine's packed. It's sitting right down there, ready to go. Yep. And Mr. Mark Gong just chimed in. Good evening, Mark. Uh, we Go talked on. about your son earlier. And we talked about the Hermans. I love the Hermans. Yeah. I'm proud to wear the Herman jersey right up there. That baby's hanging. I absolutely love it. Uh, they made me an honorary member. Um, they said I could have joined, but I'm too slow and too tall. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. <laughs> but these kids yeah. are great, man. Absolutely. That's why you just get like a little folded bit of paper, Fred. You fold it in half. You slip a hundo in it. You go up to the head ref and just like pass it to him and go, I'm 12. And oh, then it's like, it. they'll let you oh. play. Because you know what I did was I took and duct taped my shoes on my knees and went in that way. But they said I was, <laughs> they said they wouldn't buy that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, well. While I was waiting to come on, Fred, I decided to draw you a bit of an Aussie picture. It's like a French picture, but down under. 
and a bit of like a, a actual drawing. I don't know how well you can see that. A bit of tactics for the weekend. It's but upside this down. Is called... Oh wow! Oh yeah, it's upside down. But um, the this this one's like what we call the echidna maneuver. All right. So when you go out there. There's all you blokes behind this square box, which is the bunker, and all the guns are, like, pointing out behind the bunker, and we call that one the echidna because then that way you don't have to run too far. You just stay behind the bunker. I mean, ah, spelt that right. We call that And the it's just called move. the echidna yeah. bunker. So oh, you do cool. that, all guns covering every axis and, like, count way, and then that way it's sort of like they can't win. If you put more bullets in the air than them, they won't win. So what do you think of that? That's Steve. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Yeah. <laughs> I, I personally say that we put Fred Schultz out front, everybody line up single file and charge. <laughs> bring because a little the band bit of old single file bring to a little hide bit of the old school train back. That there you go. Outlawed. You remember that, huh? Hey, let me tell you, I'm playing behind Bailey because he's going to be my human bunker. That's what I said. People are going to think he's got two markers because I'm going to stick one, the other one under his arm over here. And Bailey's got the bounce factor, too. Damn right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know what sucks is he's faster than I am now, so that's going to suck. I got kind of a, a bad wheel right here. So, But I'll be playing. I'm going to be enjoying the heck out of it, though. Yeah, I run like a gazebo. <laughs> like a what? Like a gazebo. That's what I thought you said. Well, <laughs> no, the... We put a couple of people behind you. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, then, and then they got me a what a triple extra large shirt. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, it could be look like I'm wearing a moo. <laughs> You're gonna look like a steak puff marshmallow man. <laughs> As I, I mean, like to say, I run with the finesse of a fridge. There you go. Yeah. I, I mean, as big as that is, and Paul's going to be bouncing off one from a guy that's five feet away from me. <laughs> so that, that I'll, I'll be looking like the Michelin man out there. Hey, yep. Gary Jones just chimed in. Good evening to you, buddy. Thank you so much for watching tonight. Yeah, he does that. Uh, was it not the paintball news, but he's got that. Uh, he's got press. paintball press. Yeah, paintball press. He's got. Yeah. That's and, and cool you know, I, it is. I checked out a couple of his videos. Um, that he's been posting uh, some games that they had. And you know, what's cool about that, you know, just like you, Steve, you put stuff on too, you know, that, that people do. And, and so do I. And what that does is it not only promotes sport, the sport, but it makes people feel like, like, like something, you know, it's like giving them their 15 minutes of fame to go out and do that. And uh, you know, I got to tell you, Gary's <laughs> Gary's a cool guy. We oh, had yeah. Gary on, but his feed was just, yep. No good. So we're. Oh, uh, I tried long time ago. Yeah, it's <laughs> hopefully soon. Yeah, I'm I, exactly. Yeah, and you know that that's like uh, um, Schloss. I told Schloss. I says, you know, I says finally. I says you're going to be on my show so we, people can see what you look like because we're going live from New York, right? A few times we're going to go live from there. But every time I have him on, he's on the phone because we tried to put him on at one time. He used that. What was it, Bill? Uh, uh ipad or something like that and yeah man you'd say something you say something to him i'd run get a sandwich and come back and then he'd answer you that's how long the lag was it was just really bad so he got himself a new camera and he got all this other stuff but he hasn't got it put together so now we're going to nail him down this week and yep. it's going to be absolutely cool as hell when i went live from uh world cup mm -hmm. last time Yep. Best thing you can do, if you can hardwire in, do that, and then bring your laptop. Well, I'm bringing my laptop. Yeah, I, I'm bringing it, and uh, I'm bringing, I'm bringing, actually bringing this camera and everything. The only thing I'm not going to bring is my big screen TV, which will kill me, you know, so I'll have to rely on Bill to tell me <laughs> Yeah, but you got on. people there to do all the hardware stuff for you. So you can have the camera do. pointed oh, one way, I... you have the camera pointed somebody else. I know I do. Hey, I got a good one for you, Steve. I bought a new phone. Okay. okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's still not still the same, Bill. Anyhow, oh. um, yeah, they took and transferred everything over. It took seven and a half hours to transfer everything over to my new phone. That's a lot of porn. I, yeah, it, it is. It is. <laughs> you know, the, the sad part, it's all me. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Hey, it's, it's like, you know, man, I, I had six, 15 minutes ago, now my arm's killing me. But anyhow, you know. <laughs> 
I still my old phone still works. I can't yep. get I can't get messages on the new phone, but I can get it on the old phone. Yep. But why I, shouldn't that service be done on the old phone? It 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 should, but yeah. you've got it hooked up on Wi-Fi. If you take your old phone and you turn off, like put it on airplane mode, for example, right? It can no longer access Wi-Fi and stuff. Like it shut it down, and then the new phone will will get it. Like it's just well, my messages were go all going to the old phone. This is after they took and switched everything over. My messages are all going to the old phone, not the new phone. Bill Bill gets old and he goes, "Hey, what are you pissed at me or something?" I go, "What are you talking about?" He goes, <laughs> I, "He goes, I sent you all of these these messages and stuff." And I look on my new phone. I go, no, I don't see nothing. It's I just so much easier to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So, anyhow, yeah. So, this has been interesting. So, I'm taking both phones to New York. I, yeah. One for AG. I, you know, I, did, I, did, I did that. Yeah. yeah. Saran Sam. <laughs> it, it was, you know, yeah, because when I put it on one ear, it just blows the dust out onto my shoulder. So if I put it on both ears, it keeps everything in there. <laughs> you should he's be writing this Lowe's. stuff down, Connor. <laughs> he's going to go to Lowe's on a sec. Mm -hmm. big blue and yellow clamps and put it around his head. <laughs> <laughs> no, just slide him down in between the paintball mask. And that, yeah. that way yeah. it's sort of like... You know, he's got stereo headphones blasting like, you know, the Doobie Brothers or something as he's sitting there shooting. <laughs> there you go. Well, I just had Jeff Thompson go, did you put the SIM card in your new phone? No, I had them do it. They put a new SIM card in, in the new phone. <coughs> so, you know, I just don't know what's going on. I got, I got both phones. I, I <laughs> used one to look at one thing. I used the other one to look at something else. So, yeah. Oh, that's Matthew Alvarez is in the house. Oh, Kathy. And Kathy's back there. I think she's at her sister's house right now. So After, what are you guys what are you guys ahead. looking forward food wise in New York? Do you have so you've been there been there for a long time. There's different foods everywhere you go. What are you guys looking forward to once you get out to the East I, Coast? I, you know, I just kind of munch out. You know, I'm not a I don't eat fish. Um so and uh I I just eat everything else. You know, I I, I like burgers, I, I like pizza. Um, I guess Thomas G has got like 20 pounds of uh, top sirloin and a bunch of mashed potatoes because we were going to have the band party. But, you know, the band has ended up being about 5,000 people now. So what's happening is uh, I guess we're going to have a big cookout on Friday night. Yeah. So I guess that's what's going to happen. I guess Bill's bringing a big grill. Am I right? No, it's it's a three-foot plow disc pan. So... I can make fajitas hey. or anything. It, they're awesome. Yeah. Plow disc. We use them, got them down here. And it's sort of like food always takes, tastes different when you cook it on a plow disc. Yep. It's um, awesome. Oh, it's like right? a George Foreman grill. It se yep. seals in the flavor. Yeah. Wow. Sort of Connor, you're drooling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was sitting here just going, man, I could really throw a snake on that plow disc grill and have some snake to eat or like, you know, <laughs> a bit of roadkill roux or something like that. Just oh, that. see, well, you see, you could, you could link up with Steve and have snake and biscuits. That would be uh, yeah. cool. <laughs> I, could, I could make enough breakfast burritos for 30 people with that pan. Wow. wow. Oh, oh. Damn. Now you can order a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Gary Jones said if you're in Manhattan, get a couple of dirty water dogs from one of their carts. You know, I... I put Treat a couple me. big slides out at Coney Island out there, and they always had the, the hot dog carts running around, so I ate a ton of them. But what they had back in the day was submarine sandwich carts, and I, I'm a big submarine sandwich guy. I just absolutely <laughs> love hoagie sandwiches. Oh, Subway, man. eat fresh. Uh, yeah, they're not bad. I, I like making my own. I get a big piece of French bread, and I just load it down, you know, and then I pick it up, and the whole shebang slides out the other end. But it is. I just absolutely <laughs> love it. Yeah, I'll tape it next time, Bill. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. For tape. <laughs> they they call, call that a mukbang. <laughs> a a mukbang. You know? I said, and we're back to the images on your phone. Uh, yeah. Uh, God. Check out this. Fred just ate this sandwich this big in one bite. He took that yeah. thing like a champ, you know? <laughs> 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 All right, well, just be careful. Just be careful when you got Andy Storette around you, because yeah. 
I'm fair warning. I'm officially warning you guys. He is a prankster. So keep your eyes open at all times. Be sure to pat pat search him for an air horn or something. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. You know, we're going to run him for coffee all the time. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cream and sugar, a little sweet and low. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, and Thomas Gee said for the band, we will also have shrimp cocktail and bacon wrapped scalloped appetizers. Oh my God! You know, I'm reading this stuff. I think I just gained three pounds. <laughs> yeah, but you don't eat fish. I don't eat fish, but I do eat bacon. Oh God! Oh, yeah, but those are shrimp cocktails. <laughs> well, I know, but I, I'll I'll take it. Blow it out. Peel all the bacon off the scallop. I'll blow it out, and my wife will Just have it now. Eat the bacon. Yeah, you know I love bacon. As a matter of fact, speaking of bacon, now I, I seen a picture on on the internet of you wearing that jacket, and you're all like this yeah, looking. Yeah. yeah, that was pretty funny, man. I said, "Still smells like bacon," and violate your old jacket. Jumping. Oh, there that he is. is. Look right at that. There. there it is. If, there it is. If we were to put a theme song to that picture, I reckon it would be that, um, oh, they're forgetting it. And it's just like, hello, is it me you're looking for? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I can see it in your eyes. Hello. <laughs> you say it in your eye? <laughs> Yeah, they got a hot flash for you. There's, there's two of them. You're in the wrong box. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Lana yeah I, wish guys, I wish you guys were going. That would be so cool. You know, Monte Casino is going to be in September. Now, mm -hmm. Steve, I'm I am, hoping. I am talking with Andy. What I'm hoping to do, no promises, but I am hoping to fly down to Monte Casino, play with you guys, jump on. Uh, he's probably going to be coming to Monte Casino from Denver and then grab a ride with him, spend two weeks in in the States, swing on over to Denver, play the Alley Remembered Foundation charity event, then come home. Because if I have to go south and I got to go through all the hassle <laughs> of walking across the border, and that's not a joke, people, that's the loophole right now. If I fly in, I have to spend time at a government hotel. But if I walk across the border, I can st spend my two weeks at home. But I'm going to fly in, then fly back to Buffalo, then walk across the border, then grab a train and get my ass home and quarantine See, myself. that that would See, be helpful if you had a flock of moose with you. <coughs> moose don't <laughs> swim great lakes. <laughs> Yet, I reckon we could train them <laughs> to be like the Canadian the... Navy moose seal things. Have you, you know, not just... heard the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald? Nothing crotches the Kitchens Gumi very easily. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Fitzgerald, absolutely right. With everybody on board. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Gordon so Lightfoot, I... great song. Canadian. Yeah. Check yeah, it out, yeah. people. <laughs> oh, is he really? That's why I haven't heard yeah. of him. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> look at look at bill you need to get some sleep tonight buddy you got a long drive tomorrow i know i, I saw you sipping that coke bill there, there's that little saying in there does anyone know where the love of god goes when the waves turns the minutes to hours yeah there you go yeah. <laughs> hey, it's, and, and guys bill is picking up dan colby tomorrow so that dan's uh -oh. gonna ride with them Oh dear! Ah, oh, that's gonna be so much fun. I hope they wake me up when I get there. Yeah, yeah. and he's the I driver. Just see, <laughs> just see Bill it. driving like that, and then just all of a sudden, oh, I was having a really cool dream, and then it's like Dan's in the passenger seat going, "You realize you're driving, right?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping, and this is what I'm hoping for with the two of them in the car. I'm hoping Dan figures out how to record a video. Puts it out so he can do like a selfie video. Yep. Let's a big fart rip and then looks at Bill and goes, That's it. Breathe the mortal air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, just gave him just gave him an idea too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, usually the driver who's got like the control for like the window lock. So you'd just be like, you know, just sit there, press You're the on. window lock, and just be like, and just be like, ha ha. Cut well, I gotta that. Tell you, it, only, it only takes one word to bring your show off the rails, you know that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one word. And I know what that word just was. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah there you yeah. go. There you go. Yeah, uh, Kenny Stewart Leprechaun. said said you guys should swing by Michigan. You know, Kenny, I wish you were going to be there. I'm definitely hoping you're going to be in Monte Casino when we're down there, because uh, I think Monte Casino is going to be the bomb. I really, yeah. really do. And I'm driving awesome. back for that, and then I'm going to drive and do the Ali Remember thing. Um, we'll see. May yeah, I probably do it, but uh, I'm going to go down to Alabama, go up and see my mom up in, in Wisconsin after I do the event. So it should be pretty cool. And then we got Jennifer Montressor this weekend. She's uh, accepting um, Hall of Flame plaque, you know, for her son, Tim. And she's also uh, getting Tim Schlosses. I told her I was inducted last year and still don't have my plaques. <laughs> so I told her to pick my plaque up, too. That lady's going to be walking up like this, man. I mean, <laughs> they have a backpack. <laughs> uh, hey, Robert Hansen says he's going to be at Monte Casino. Outstanding. Yep. Yeah. Well, well, you know. Mean. And, and, you know, what's so cool is it's like in the middle of the U.S., so it's easy for it to come from both sides of the, the yeah. country to get there, you know. Yeah. I absolutely love it. And, uh, you know, Bill and I are going to be working on something, too. I don't want to let the, the cat out of the bag here. But, uh, you know, paintball, you know, Bill has a, a traveling museum. Kenny Stewart has a museum. Um, there's a few people. Uh, you know, Dan Gabaki has one. Uh, these guys have some great great things in their museums but there is no brick and mortar one and um bill and i are uh you know i i think i can let it out a little bit don't you think bill sure sure Rip. bill and i are going to start working on putting together an absolute brick and mortar paintball museum and we're going to have it um down there where Bill lives in Missouri, because it's in the center of the U.S. for people to see. But I think it's a long time coming. The NBA has it. The uh, uh, you know the NFL has it. All the big sports has it. And paintballs, I think, to me, is a big sport. And we need a brick and mortar museum. And so we are going to start working on that here in in the next month or so. And uh, we will be talking a lot more about it. We got some great ideas for it, and uh, we don't want to uh, go rent a building there. We want to get a building. So, and what we're going to do is, um, you know what? I'm not going to get too much into it. I, I, I put a teaser out there. And I have I a think, question. Uh, of course. Go ahead. Missouri, technically a southern state? No. Oh, Midwest. Yeah. Darn it. Good try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking biscuits and gravy. That's all. Oh, yeah. Gravy. <laughs> Damn it, Steve, you come down. I'll have it shipped up there for you. I don't care I've what state it's in. I got a for him. I just need to send it. Oh, do you really? Just yeah. send it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's nibbling on it. That's why it isn't sent. It's Dairy Queen gravy. Well, hey, <laughs> if you ever need, like, an Aussie curator for, like, the, the museum or something, you know, to be, like, a live-in dude that just, like, hangs around, <laughs> walks around, and just, like, Oh yeah. yeah. What do you reckon of that one? Yeah, you know, you know anybody? Ones, yeah. You I know anybody? <laughs> <laughs> no, we just we just think it's time, you know, guys. And uh, I I honestly do. I I think um, we over the years, you know, like I say, I go way back. So I've seen where this sport started, and I've seen where it's at now, and it's great. I'm I'm very very happy. But there's got to be another level, and I I think that we take and we put this together and we have all the great things and, and all the great players and all the great uh, uh, manufacturers and stuff for the years to work so hard putting this together. I think it would be fantastic to have it in one spot like that. So um, we will be talking a little bit more about this um, as, a, as, as we move on here. Um, obviously we will be taking donations for it and there will be plaques um, for for certain amounts that are sent, we're going to put plaques on the wall. As soon as you walk in, you will see who helped build the paintball museum. So I wasn't going to say anything tonight, but Bill, I couldn't hold it back. You know, just 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 like when I was waiting for Woods Ball, I, I said, "Don't put it online." Couldn't hold it back. You know, uh, I just uh, you know, and just let you know, Steve and I, we got we got a shirt company going, and we. We got it partially off the ground, but that's going to take off here pretty soon, too. Yeah, we just got to get through Woods Ball. We got to get through Woods Ball, and uh, then it's on. Uh, Steve's creative ideas and, and me pushing him, 
it works. <laughs> you know. Well, uh, so. I was just going to say, seeing seeing Bill sip on that Coke there, you know, there's probably like a representative from Dr Pepper going, "That's it, I'm I'm writing writing these guys." Bill, what are you doing? You're betraying the brand. I'm you know, sorry, I've probably got a text already. Yeah. <laughs> I ran out. And I'm Keep your hand on it. it. I've got a case I'm bringing with me, and I'm not going to break into it till I hit the road. So. Generic. Check this out. See the color? The more ice I put in it, the color it goes up. So <laughs> yeah. That's all I got left in here. Yeah. But anyhow, what do you guys think about the museum idea? I think it's fantastic. I, you I think have... it's long. I think it's long time coming. And and you know, I put a lot of great things together in the past, and. Uh, I'm going to put this together along with, with uh, Mr. Bill here. We're going to make this happen. And, yeah, we're going to, you know, we're going to get help from everybody. Yeah, you don't have to wave at me. No, no. I want oh. to know if you'll name the cafeteria after me. After you? <laughs> Moose McGuire's well, yeah. Biscuits oh. and Gravy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah all, all that's available is Biscuits and Gravy. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Now we're going to call it the Dine and Dash. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that means, don't you, up in yes. Canada? Okay, just in case. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, because you know, you, your guy's sense of humor is a little lower than it is down here. We laugh Easy at anything. There, killer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're not going to name it after me, then what are you going to call it? Meat stick and Cheetos? <laughs> wow, that's not bad. <laughs> I kind of like that. Oh, you can eat Cheeto bar. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know who he's talking about, Bill, don't you? No, it ain't I'm, me. I'm <laughs> I was like, I'm all out of meat sticks. <laughs> I came here to but shoot paintball and chew meat sticks, and I'm all out of meat sticks. Yeah. <laughs> Not me. Finally. As a matter of fact, I packed about 15 of them. I've got one left, and I'm bringing it with me. <laughs> yeah, I got I got about 15, so I'll give you a couple. I got a, I got a box over here that I haven't got sent to uh, Steve yet because I wanted to get him one of the band shirts. So I got the band shirts now. So I will will send that off to him, and uh, it's got some meat sticks in it, too. In That's the museum, he, don't yeah. don't believe him. That's why he keeps ra he hasn't sent the well, box. He keeps raiding it for meat sticks and replacing them. It's his, well, it's I know. Ass. I just I, I just hate sending you the half eaten ones. It embarrasses me. <laughs> <laughs> you right, guys, um, I'm I'm super hungry, and I've got company. I got a bounce. <laughs> You Talk got about it. Uh, food. Talking about food finally got him going. It, it, it did. It really hey, is. He, he's going to go get a pizza with his friend. Hey, tell your friend uh, we appreciate very much him uh, kicking back and, and letting you come on with us tonight, buddy. I, I will. You guys play with passion, everybody. Yep. See you, Steve. See you See later. You, Steve. All right, everybody. That was Mr. Steve McGuire from up there in Canada. Um, we call him the Bacon Man. Everybody else calls him the Moose. 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 Neb Nilla Neb is watching tonight. You know, that's another name I got to mention. Because when I first started, Neb was watching all the time. And he put some of the funniest stuff on the internet. I got to tell you, he uh, some of the stuff I see he puts on there just cracks me up. I think about it all day after I, I look at it in the morning. What? So, Neb, I appreciate very much you watching. Neb, I think you're cool as hell <clears> for paintball. And yeah. uh, everybody he, else, I think you guys are just great. Yeah, he, really, he did really me do. a good. He, he did me a big favor the other day. Uh, he found some uh, markers yep. online that were uh, in a TV series, and uh, he got them for me for the museum. So yeah, well, you know that that's why you know guys like now that's why I like mentioning guys like this guy because you know he not only just watches the show. What I see him do. Uh, on online for the sport of people is just terrific. It, it really is, you know, and I, I hate to see the unsung heroes like that go without being mentioned because these are the guys that help build a damn thing. You know, these, these are the guys that, that keep it going, that make it interesting, you know, and uh, so Neb, my hat's off to you, buddy. I'm, I'm very, very happy you watched the show. I'm very proud that I have you as a friend on Facebook. So I want you to know that. So, <clears throat> And Mr. Kenny Stewart, you know, Kenny, boy, you imagine the stuff we could put in that museum, Bill? Oh, my God. A lot. I, and, and we'll have so much alarms and uh, <laughs> shatterproof glass and stuff. It'll be unreal. But you guys are going to want to be listening because when I get back to New York, we're going to start actually laying the groundwork for this. Yeah. And this is something that I don't want to take 10 years to do. This is something, everybody, that I would like to get rolling and and get this thing up and running by next summer 
Not yeah. this coming summer, but next summer. So that gives us a little over a year. And um, I believe that everybody in this paintball community will give me a hand and give Bill and I a hand to do this. And I think we can absolutely make it work. You know, everything I said I was going to do in the past to make work, I've made it work. And this is something that I'm going to make work also, period. And, you know, Bill helped me with Tracy Prez's thing. And I couldn't think of a, a better person to to have alongside me as a wingman to work on this damn thing. And uh, we are going to make it happen. And yeah. Tracy, damn straight, you'll be in there, babe. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah tracy perez will be in there yeah. for sure and yeah. kenny stewart you will too and kenny stewart said he would do all he can and stand behind it you yeah, know kenny, already, kenny's i expect no less from him kenny's already putting together a website and everything you know to where there's a group of us that's you know all got all these collections and and uh we're forming up kind of a a, a big group so you can click and and find us all and uh, and Kenny's the one that's putting it all together. So yeah, and Gary, Gary Jones says count me in. So um, Chris Denny said Fred Schultz, whatever you need, I'm here to help. I, see what I mean? These yep. guys, I, I, I when I say I'm blessed with the friends I've got, people believe me, I am blessed with the people that I know, <laughs> and, and not just my old friends, but all the new friends that I've acquired over the last year, and. Uh, this is one thing that I want to do and, and Bill and I are going to just make this happen. And I'd like to make it happen by next summer. So when I get back from New York, we're going to start laying out some uh, um, details, what we're doing. And uh, then uh, obviously Bill will be in charge of uh, finding us a great building. And then I'll go back there and Bill and I will uh, put this thing together, period. And you this should have way like a <clears throat> Madame Tussauds like wax section and just like start putting yours all in there and you know have have you all in the original playing gear and and stuff like that and you know how much yeah. wax you take to make bill Come yeah on. i know <laughs> you know how hot it gets here it was known as yeah, the great yeah, that's wax right. shortage yeah, yeah. we're all yeah. gonna look like we're, we're having strokes you know all of our friends yeah. are... uh... yeah. <laughs> I love it. Hey, Kenny Stewart's an electrician, and, and I've been a contractor for 40 some years. So, yeah, Kenny, we will make it happen. Um, like I say, uh, I'd like to get this thing up and running by next summer. Uh, when we get back from New York, I'm going to start jumping on it a little bit more. I'm sure everybody else and their brother is going to go, oh man, I had that idea a million years ago. Well, you know, everybody has the idea. I just want paintball to keep rolling along. You can go to the NBA, you can go to the NBA museum. You can go to the NFL uh, museum. You know, I think paintball needs its museum, and uh, I, th I think that will actually help grow the sport too in the future. Heck yeah, the mecca, so, the mecca, absolutely. Mecca for paintball, and and look at the people that just chimed in tonight. Whoa. What a great bunch. You know what? Yeah. Hey, and, and we, Connor, we were only going to do a short thing tonight because I'm taking off here in a little while to go to New York. Um, but yeah. I got to tell you, when, when I get guys like this and uh, people chiming in, you yourself, Steve coming on, it's hard to cut it off early. It really, really oh, is. So, absolutely. I was just going to say, too, I should get Bill um, an Australian Akubra hat so that whenever he's out and about and he sees a marker, can wear that Akubra and look at the marker and be like, this belongs in a museum. <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> <laughs> Ned Miller said he's going to start the Paintball Field Rats Union Teamsters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. Uh, All right, guys. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you what. We're going to cut it a little bit short tonight. Connor, I want to thank you so much for coming on tonight, buddy. Um, you're always, always a treat a to have on. Uh, you're very special as a friend. I appreciate that very much. And Likewise, uh, mate. yeah, you're just a, a great guy. You just stay safe over there. All right. Will do. I'm thinking about literally going and commandeering a canoe and just start, you know, paddling over because I reckon I'll be able to find a loophole that if I paddle a canoe all the way from here <laughs> up there, I'll be able to get in. Don't need to worry about a quarantine and whatnot because I've floated across the water, you know. Yeah, and, and see if you start if you start this weekend, you should be here by next summer when we try to get the museum going. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's it. all working out. It's all coming together already, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Connor, you have a good evening, buddy. I will, mate. You too. Thanks for okay. having me on, and thanks for everybody tuning in and commenting. And it's great. I love being here. Okay, buddy. You stay safe. <laughs> what a great guy, huh? If he if he could just get to the Great Lakes and then ride a moose over to show Steve it could be done. Well, you know, if if he could get to the Great Lakes, he could just have Steve lay on his back and row him over. Yeah. <laughs> you know, th there's always a way, guys. I'm yeah, telling you. The way. The will. <laughs> yeah. Well, Bill, I had I had to put out that that thing about uh, wanting to get that museum going, and uh, um, it's something that we're going to do. Period. Uh, there's a lot of people wanting to, you know, get it going. You know? I hey, we will make it happen. Yeah. You know, yeah. you, you, you got you got to walk to walk, not talk to talk. So yeah. and we're gonna make it happen, and I, I know we're gonna get a lot of help from a lot of great people too. No doubt. So yep. It'll be good. All right, Bill. Well, you know what? You have a safe trip. Yeah. And, uh, when you're on the road, give me a text. Let me know you're you're doing good. Yep, will do. All right. All righty. We'll see you guys. All right, buddy. Mr. William Bailey, um, one of my new friends. I'm finally going to meet this guy face to face, and I cannot wait. It is so cool as hell. It really is. So, everybody, you know, um, gosh, you know, we still almost went the whole hour instead of usually the hour goes over the hour. So, but anyhow, um, I want to thank you all so much for watching. You guys are, are all, all great. And, um, we will be talking a lot more about the brick and mortar museum that I plan on putting together. Bill and I plan on putting together and uh, try to get it up and running by next year. So anyhow, everybody, I, everybody going to Woods Ball, all of you, please have a safe trip. Um, I want everybody to get there. I want to have a great time. I am looking forward to seeing not just the band, but I'm looking forward to seeing everybody there. I am absolutely going to love it and I am biting at the bit. So, everybody, remember, please, play hard, play safe, play fair. Till next Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock Pacific time, I'll see you guys then. You all stay safe now. Bye.